here we are. Um, I, like uh, you've seen the uh, bass fishing video. Sorry guys, I'm kind of tongue-tied. It's been one heck of a last month and then tonight. So let me tell you what's going on. I am walking out of my job for the very last time. That back there, I've been on third shift for two years. I've kind of hid that from you guys. I haven't uh, said a lot of my personal life about my job or you know on third shift I don't like to put it out to, in, to the public that I'm not at home every night I do have a wife and babies at home so you know how that goes I'm sure you understand that sit you guys up in the truck so you can actually see my face take the old hard hat off for the last time um, so yeah guys here we are um, I did get laid off uh, you know, it's a business. It, this is all a business decision. This is due to 2018 sales not being very good for the company company I worked for. I'm not going to state names or anything. I'm sure some of you know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's been real. You know, this job has been very providing to, to me and my family. This job actually got my wife, Beth, who you guys have met. Uh, it actually got her through her, you know, four years of school. She was able to work part-time most of those years. It has bought us our new home. We've had both children while living here. Um, it's provided insurance uh, ever since me and Beth started dating. Because um, they do give insurance to, if you're a roommate, if you carry the same address, you don't have to be married. So this place is a really good job. I have nothing bad to say about my job here. And in and, and the last five years of my life and the last five years uh, experiences that I've had here. But, um, you know, this just goes to show, guys, like, this is, the, I, I don't want to call this detrimental, because it's not. I, I have you guys, I have what's going on here. We got ducks and we're doing our thing. But, um, it's a huge change. And just like any huge change, it's scary. It is. It, it's, it's scary. I've known for a month, month and a half-ish, uh, they told us so the bass fishing video that you watch watched yesterday or whenever this video goes up uh, was actually filmed a month ago and I just wanted to hold out to uploading all this until it was a done deal I didn't want to I didn't want to jump the gun or you know put something out there that might have changed or or uh, made me look stupid for being wrong or incorrect but uh, I know I'm babbling. Uh, my heart's pounding like a hundred mile an hour. This has been, this is what's provided to our family, you know. Uh, thank God, you know, my wife has a good job. I am going to, I'm going to be off work for a while here. Um, you know, as, as most of you know, we got, we got ducks rolling. So, uh, like I told you before, uh, YouTube is demonetizing a lot of stuff. And on top of that, I just lost my job, walked out of literally one of the best jobs in my town. It, it is truly one of the best paying, best benefits uh, jobs that we have. Our town is uh, roughly 50,000 people. So uh, jobs are scarce here. They're, they're, ju they're just scarce. And uh, you really have to work your tail off to get in like this one here. I had, it took me a year and a half to get this job. I went to every job fair. I signed or I filled out every application opportunity and it took me a year and a half to get on here been here five years and um all i can tell you guys that are lost or, or hate your job um that have some type of negative feel to what you do every day i can tell you this i did not plan on losing my job i didn't know this was going to happen when we started ducks it was because it was something you know, Flair could do over the winter that he was really interested in and he wanted to get into and it's something that I've always wanted to do. And I didn't know YouTube was going to be my avenue to get into the waterfowl industry. I didn't know video making was going to be, uh, you know, videography was going to be my avenue to possibly make a living, you know, at some point in my life. So this just goes to show you that out of nowhere, a month and a half ago, I was told I was getting laid off. I worked my ever-loving tail off all last winter, all the way through the summer on the off-season, putting up how-tos, keeping the channel populated with content, so I stayed relevant, so YouTube would promote me more to you guys, so I, that's why I'm getting so many subs as we speak right now, is because I just, I went so hard. But essentially what I'm getting to, let just get to the dang point, man, is, uh, 
I didn't plan on leaving this job and, and being a YouTuber like I am. I didn't plan on having a duck's company. It, it's, it's just what I'm getting at is that literally the company's kind of doing good. You guys are supporting us. It's doing fairly well our first month. All I can say is I ask you guys if you like the channel, if you enjoy what I do, I'm literally going to be YouTubing full time. I'm going to try to do dailies if not every other day. It's crazy that it happened at the beginning of the season. It's crazy that it happened just like this timing is insane, not planned at all. It just goes to show you if you stay positive, and, and I mean this guys, I preach it sometimes, I don't say it enough, but if you keep a positive mind frame every day, if you feel yourself slipping into a negative mood, make it a knee-jerk reaction to, to think about what you're thinking about. What is it that's getting you down? So that being said, keep your mind positive. It is crazy what this world and uh, this, this crazy reality that we live in, what it can provide to you just having a positive mind. Um, I can dedicate every, everything to that. So everything that's happening right now with YouTube, partnering up with Flair, my channel being successful, the one thing that I can dedicate it to is a positive mindset and I mean that but that is not me trying to trying to be sympathy and say the same thing everybody else says what I'm telling you it's true and I mean it from the bottom of my heart I truly mean it staying positive and believing in yourself loving yourself leads to a positive mindset you have to love yourself before you can love anybody else I know I'm getting deep and this is getting weird quick but I'm a 31 year old man that's worked for the last, you know, 16, 15, whatever years, um, 17 years, who knows, having, having to have a 40 hour job. So this is a extremely big turning point in my life and it's a, and it's a big leap of faith. Um, like I said, I don't make ad revenue on these videos. It's very minute and I, and I'll be honest, I will show you guys some numbers. Uh, later on in the year even when it's hot and heavy and we're getting a bunch of views uh, I don't make ad revenue the only revenue that I make that supports what I do that's what bought this camera that was bought my brand new laptop I had to spend two thousand dollars on uh, GoPro software SD cards ammo the whole nine yards uh, ducks is literally the only thing that is gonna supplement money from me leaving this place. Right now, that, that is literally the only thing that I have planned. Uh, that being said, that's scary because, you know, summer summers are slow, off season. Uh, but I'm confident, I, I'm, I'm confident that um, I have a great audience. Uh, you guys, I have one of the most interactive audiences that I could ever imagine having. You guys, I ask you something, I ask you to do something, I need your opinions about something, and I tell you to drop a comment. Literally, you guys are freaking there to back me up, to, you know, you write my wrong, like, you'll correct me if I'm wrong. I always med admit if I'm wrong, by the way, so, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the, oh, we're, go we're going damn here, hold on, hold on. Oh, there we are, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna take the leap of faith. I always told my wife the last three years, I'm like, you know what, babe, if I ever leave my job, because it is a good job, if I ever leave here on my own terms, it's going to be for something big. And it's going to be for something that I'm going to be jumping off the cliff for and just taking a swing at it. Um, I have talked to a lot of successful people, whether it's YouTubers, business owners, um, really just a lot of successful people. And each one of them have told me that Bobby, when you see an opportunity, take the leap of faith. Woo <laughs> what, are you, uh, you hyped or what? I'm super hyped. You ready to get out of here? I'm ready for some changes. Right. Yeah. New I, chapter. I think it's about to go down. So this is, this is Nick. He's actually been in one of the thumbnails, one of our funny videos that we've done. We're going to be doing some fishing coming up. We're going to be doing some fishing. We're going to be doing some side-by-side -side items. We ain't gonna have nothing to do but take care of kids and uh enjoy life dude you ain't lying we, we we've about been that time, we oh dude it is we've been stuck on nights for how long you been on nights five years sir five years i've been here two and it's too too many let me tell you what especially when you have kids when you have a wife so uh 
yeah, the, you're talking to a couple grown men that literally, it, it's a life-changing experience. So guys, I'm gonna end this here. I've been babbling enough. Um, like I say, guys, when you guys buy duck stuff, look at it right here, bam, it goes directly to helping me keep doing this. I want to go full time. I know a bunch of you would love to see me go full time. You know, that means every day or every other day, constant hunting, hunting, hunting. Mostly, we'll do a little bit of fishing as well. Uh, but this is a, an exciting experience. I hope you guys are halfway excited. I, I'm, ha I'm, I'm happy and scared, as if you can tell. But I hope you guys are excited for this. It's going to be a crazy season. Um, Thank you each and every one of you guys for not only viewing, for watching, for subscribing, but for supporting the channel. This, this goes directly to supporting me. I can't thank you guys enough. Subscribe if you haven't. Have a good one, y'all. It's about to get real. Peace.